guys welcome back to another video with lady with the lab and today we are in the minecraft world and we're working on the january village as you can see we have gotten quite a fair bit done i do need to take this out uh, and clean this up here and put a few more village houses we've got one villager so we've got a cute little house here uh, we got the berry fields over there. We're gonna add. I'm gonna add some more spruce fences. So there's. You see the spruce fences up there. I'm gonna add some more along the border of the retaining wall. Um, that house needs to be decorated. This house needs to be decorated. Um, I was planning to put a house over here where this uh, dog is. And then we have the carrot fields. Uh, as you can see, carrots right there. And a house that's not decorated. This is supposed to be a vendor, um, but I haven't quite finished it yet. Um, we've got the shepherd in his house. Uh, I don't have anything in the butcher's house, actually. Butcher, not shepherd. Um... And then I was thinking that this house up here would make for a nice blacksmith. Uh, since it's got plenty of room inside for all of the blacksmithing things, I thought it would be great. So I will decorate the interior for that. Um, this house doesn't have any windows. Haven't really figured out what to do with it yet. And then we've got a nice retaining wall around the entire village. And, um, this is a rather new addition. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. And, uh, the retaining walls are all brand new. So, uh, and I do need to put some logs there so that the tree touches the ground. Uh, we got a nice tree here. A little bit of wheat over here. That is the, uh, sheep barn. And I think I could probably, once I level this out, I could probably put another house here. Um, let's go down. And uh, I'll show you the sheep. I do need to re-dye four of the sheep because I need four green sheep so that I can um, make some green wool and stuff like that. Um, Giggles went ahead and added this building in. I think it's really cute. And uh, it'll fit nicely. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay out of the tree there. <laughs> but anyways. As you can see, we've got some blue sheep. Oh, they, uh, they seem to have hopped the pen. But you know what? It's a-okay. As long as I got the sheep in there, it doesn't really matter how they fit. You know, I might even take these uh, middle panels out. Because I don't think I really need them. Um, and the red sheep have obviously mingled with the uh, magenta sheep. And uh, I'll be needing the wool from these guys to be making houses for the February uh, village. And so this up here is a nice little hayloft. Um, but yeah, so far this is how the village is coming along. Uh, this, I figured, could be like the stable quarters, uh, the sheep stable quarters. And uh, I have not finished um, decorating it yet, so that's kind of how that's going. Let's go back over to the house. Alright, so let's go around the corner. And... Like I said, we got the butcher's house right here. This is one of the few houses that is mostly decorated, but not completely. This is the fisherman's hut. Not quite finished. And, of course, we've got the mansion up there. We'll give you a better look at that when the sun comes up. And uh, since my friend is in the nether, we can go to sleep. Respawn point set. So we'll go to sleep real fast. And this is how everything looks on the map. So you can see the mansion is quite large. And uh, we've got quite the extensive amount of storage going on there. 
and it's still not enough, I tell you. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, I am going to take this down, and then we do have a little stable right here that I put in. It's it's just, it's nothing to be proud of, for sure, but it's it's a stable. Let's see if I can get a good view of the mansion. Uh, not quite, but we tried. We did try. That's okay. All that matters is that you try. And I'm not quite finished um, decorating inside yet. But it's going along well. So this is what we've got so far. And let's go over here to the first bedroom. Because from the last time I made a video, I did not have the fish in. And look, we got a nice little carpet going down here. Got some beds. Um, we got a fish. You know, a nice little study. And a nice little fire. Very, very nice. And then we come over here. And this room isn't quite finished, but it's getting there. So we got a couple of fish here. You know, we got a nice little study there. A nice little uh, changing room there. And then, um, oh, I forgot to show the bathroom in the other one. That's okay. We got a nice little, uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a sheep that's underwater, I guess. And then uh, we got a nice bathroom here. Just, you know, not, nothing fancy. Just a simple bathroom. And then back through here is basically some storage that that's that's about all that is yeah and i don't even have anything in it and then we get another fireplace and then we come around and this would be my room and i've got a little fishy there my little suit of armor my bed and you know just a little bit of things you know I thought would be cute and then I have a little storage area here and I've got my bathroom right here you can see as I was going along I got a little bit better at everything as I was going um, oh and then right down here this leads to the base it's just a fast access that getting between bases is faster um we have giggles room we have a nice little study for her her suit of armor and her fish tank is a little bit smaller because uh i was getting better at decorating the room and laying things out so um yeah and then she has a towel for the uh shower slash bath uh, which I actually should add into the other bathrooms as well, but I didn't think about it. Um, so yeah, so that's about what we got going on downstairs. And then we'll go up to the third level here. Um, and you'll see that I haven't really done all that much upstairs, but that's okay. We're getting to it. And then you come over here and you've got a nicer view of the whole place it's got a real nice layout as you can see it's a little bit easier to see how things are laid out and you get more detail on things because this isn't one map it's several maps so uh, it just makes things more defined and let's see nothing else up here so let's go downstairs and I haven't really decorated anything over here yet, but I'm going to. So, at any rate, that is the tour. And, um, yeah, I will have more updates once I get a little bit more done. I have no idea what to do here. I was thinking maybe a chandelier, but then, you know, what do I do over here? Um, maybe add in some bushes? I don't know. I really, I don't know. But at any rate. And then you come out here and you've got a great view of the village. 
Look at that. Look at that nice overview. It's just absolutely stunning. Yeah. Come on over here. Oh, yeah. That's the only villager we have. We have to move another one over here. Um, because he's kind of lonely. Oh, and I need some more of the vines because they keep the snow from going on the trees. And I think the trees would look better if we didn't have uh, snow on top of them. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Um, if you did, please leave a like and a comment. And we're going to go over to the iron farm real fast and show you guys how that has been progressing because we have a sniffer now. Oh, there. Mine cart's right here. So we'll go ahead and take that. Uh, so what happens to that is this chunk isn't loaded in because nobody's here. So um, the mine cart just stopped. Oh, no, 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 no lag. <laughs> No lag, please. No, no lag. Okay, we're going to wait for that to come back, and then we're going to break it. Okay, that way we can take it back to the other side. But yeah, so Junior went ahead and made the pumpkin and melon farms automatic. And they just kind of do that on their own. And then there is... The meat farm over here, we've got pigs, we've got oops, cows, sheep, we've got a sniffer, we've got a horse, and a bunch of chickadees, and the berry farm. So that over there was where we were, were originally chopping down trees, but now, as you can see, we've got a nice safe area from uh, mobs. So we can cut them down no matter whether it's day or night. And we've got some cherry trees going because we need some for the February village. And then we've got some oak trees, you know. And uh, I think these are a different type of tree because it doesn't look like the oak. Yeah, that's not oak. That must be the uh, mangrove ones. Um, anyways, y'all have a great day. Stay safe and we'll see you in the next video.